Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to episode 10 of my survival series. I hope all of you guys out there had a lovely, lovely New Year's Eve. And welcome to the year of 2019. I was just about to say 18 just then. So as in today's episode, we are going to be going into the end and we're going to be building ourselves our lovely, our lovely Enderman farm. This is another genome one and it looked pretty good. This is the same guy who built this farm up here, who designed this farm. But first off, I know we're going to be going into the end, and I know for a fact that we are going to be, we have to summon an endermite, and I'm really good at dying, so I think I might just get a couple more potions of health. Well, I want to, these were the ones we got out of the end, but I want to brew some up so we can get ourselves a lovely another achievement. So all it is, is a nether wart and a glistering melon, I believe. And I can't remember if it is redstone dust or normal glowstone that makes it last longer. I'm not exactly sure, but I think just these here will be good enough. And then we should get a lovely noise as soon as I take this out of here. Nothing, just local brewery. Okay, that, that's good enough then. Okay, so I'm just going to chuck these in our lovely chest and well, we're going to make our way into the end. Let's do another swoosh transaction. Okay, we are now at the lovely end, so what we have to do is we need to go ahead and we need to place down our lava and wait till it gets all the way down to pretty much nothing. Don't know why it's gone out to the side like that there, but I thought we'll just go straight down. Then as soon as that lava gets straight down, we then have to go ahead and we place our water next to it. And as soon as it gets down to negative zero, we pretty much just build out in a giant bridge. Now, I think this is pretty risky doing this stuff. So I think I need about three, just over three stacks to get out 200 blocks. And that's what I need to do. So I'll just wait for that there to get down a little bit more. So as I said, stop dropping. I'll drop down the water. Be back very shortly. Okay, everyone, I believe that it's now down the bottom, so you go ahead and you remove your top piece of lava, and then you place down a water bucket on this side, making this all into lovely slabs. Now, hopefully that there's the correct, the correct height, and as soon as it gets down to the bottom, I'm just going to quickly pop into F3 mode and swim down, and really hope this is at the bottom, correct layer. Let me place a block there. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't like this at all. It wasn't quite at the bottom, was it? As long as we're standing on zero ish, I think that's the lowest I'm going to get it down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't not like that at all. Okay, let's just wait for that lava to disappear, and then we can start work on our lovely ramp. Okay, okay people, we are now down to the bottom, and now we have started placing our first block here, so that we are at what, 105, 104, we need to go out to roughly 304. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to slowly do this painful task of shifting and placing down the blocks. I actually want to have my lovely rockets just in case I fall down because I don't want to die. So this is going to be a fun task going out, but we have to bridge out as far as we can so we do not load the main island, and the spawning is extremely good. I was going to go out only 50 blocks, 150 blocks, but I think I go out 200 because it will be very good. So anyway, let's get all the way out there, and I'll see you once I bridge that distance out there. Okay everyone, I've just passed our 200 block limit, but I thought I'd just go out just a little bit more further, just so that we are actually out of the island, and I think I'm going to do this, oh, that, that, that's not going to work. So I'm just going to go out just a little bit more further, because I want this farm to be as efficient as possible. Now if you do keep keep blocking out, you can actually get reach in on it, which is quite good, but... Yeah, that, that's just what you can also do. So now that I'm at, out this far, I need to go ahead and build the lovely spawning platforms for the mobs for the endermen i'm sorry so we need to go out whoops i don't know i don't want to do that i want to go out, i don't know why i chose to do this in slabs let's go along like this here so one two three four five one 
So all it is is a five by, well, five by a ten by eleven by three platform. So you go out another five from here. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in this little section here. Okay, people. I thought uh, I don't have any on here, which is a pain. Actually, you know I can quickly craft some with this here, can't I? Because I need to create some torches so I don't have any endermen spawning around me. Because I, I really don't want that there to happen. So all I'm going to do is just go ahead and craft it there. But while I, while that is happening, you need to go around this platform and create one, two, three, four, five, and cr go, create an entire five by five thing of leaves. Three, four, five. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also speed this here up as well. And I'll see you guys at the end of it. Okay, now we need to go out and place ourselves a big path by going 18 blocks out. One, two, three. Okay, now that I've finished placing in this this area here as pathway, we need to go ahead and create ourselves a lovely platform going up like this here. And place out a slab going one, two, going back out here. That is nice and simple. And then we need to go ahead and place ourselves a lovely carpet and another carpet on top of that there. And go black back a couple blocks. I'm just going to use some more slabs for this here. All right. I'm going to place a slab like that there. Let's go up. We have to go up one block, up another block, and go out. Now this is what this is a, this is what we're going to be doing here. Is we're going to be creating a lovely little platform here for where we're going to be spawning in the endermite, which I dread. I uh, I really don't want to die by doing this. So we're going to place up a little bit of protection going around the outside. Uh oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Just doing that there it was a stupid mistake. Why would I do that? Such an imbecile move. I was trying to get rid of those endermen because they spawned on my platform. Welp, time to run back and see if my stuff doesn't despawn, hopefully. Whoops. Lucky I created a little platform. Hopefully all my stuff is actually stuck up there and saved. If not, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, not, not to worry. Can't get too mad. Such a stupid move. Why would I do something like that? Uh, okay, let's try and get back there before I lose all my stuff. Unless I've got. Nope. Unless I don't light you in there, that would have been good. I suppose I need to run all the way back. And hopefully, all my stuff is still there. No, I'm not, I'm not too far away. But then when I go over there, there's going to be some lovely endermen up there. That's going to be a bit of a pain, isn't it? Okay, by the looks of it, people, it looks like all my stuff is still here, luckily. <laughs> should be thankful for that, shouldn't I? Because <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. Do I sort of my elytra in there? Yes, I do. Let's chuck that there back on. Put that there, put that there, and get rid of this guy. Oh, you're strong. What the hell? Oh, shit. Okay, now let's get ready to place in this lovely endermite, which I've got my name tag here, and I don't want to get rid of that lava because I don't want to place that down. And I've got plenty of eyes of ender, and I need my lovely minecart there. Now let's place a couple of torches and nothing else spawns on here. That there should stop them from spawning. Oh, that's obviously a top slab. A bottom slab, I mean. Okay, so now what now what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and I want to eat some food and heal myself up and hopefully not die again. So what we need to do is just pretty much go down on the ground. That's gonna do quite a bit of damage, isn't it? So all you do is quickly spam an ender pearl and see if an endermite spawns. As soon as an endermite spawns, you place down the railway cart and push him so he falls down onto this carpet here. I'll be back. Once I get that there sort of done. 20 minutes later.
Look everyone, just there we got our lovely endemite. Whoops. Um that can I Um I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to get him across here now. So I think I might put down a slab like that there, maybe some rails. Kind of cross. See if that there work. I have no idea how I'm going to get him over here now. Um, <laughs> so there's no, there's no way that I can push it. Can I, um, hmm. Surely I can't hop in there with it, eh? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try and figure out how to get him over here. I'll be back once I do that. Okay, people, now it's time to start working on the rest of this, and I have just realised then that I have... Oh. Oh. I wanted to go back and redo this, aren't I? Because I... Okay, what I was meant to do, I'm just going to have to kill off this guy, and I'll... Pour... Oh, shoot... I'm going to have to go ahead and I'm going to have to go and fix up all this area of what I've done wrong. But I'll go and place the endermite in again shortly. But what you need to do is go ahead out the sides and place in your lovely area going around. So you've got a 3x3 three three area here. And place up another bit going up just here. 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Like this here. Nice and simple. And you're supposed to have your slabs going along the back just like this. With that there, you go ahead and you place down your trap doors. Nice and simple going along the outside. And then once you go down underneath here, you place down your little area. And this is where you place in your lovely daylight sensors and your other slabs. Because this is where you're going to kill off your lovely mobs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck down a couple bits here. And remove this here. Then I'm going to place down myself some lovely chests for where my ender pearls are going to be going into. Go up and place ourselves down our lovely item or droppers. I'll probably make a system that will send them away that way eventually in the future. Now I'm just going to remove all of this here. And then this here is what the farm is now looking like. So now to make it a little bit more safe, I'm just going to place a couple bits of string going along here so Enderman cannot come over, in theory anyway. Um, oops. Let this go down there. Down there. And I think carpet, you can't fall off of, hopefully. So you place your carpet down there and your other bit of string that goes across there. So this is what the farm looks like before it's sort of not quite done yet. I'm going to quickly place a couple bits of torches here. And I am going to go ahead and get myself another item frame and hopper in that there. And then that there is pretty much the farm completed. I'll be back once I get this Enderman spawned back in. And here yeah, I get this place sort of tidied up. Because at this stage it is not the best looking at it. <laughs> See you shortly. I can people this is a second attempt to try and get our lovely endemite to spawn in. And if you just notice here, I've named it, it's going to be named Murray if I successfully get it to spawn in. One, two, three. Hopefully this works this time. Let's get rid of that and just... Now I'll try and keep myself at a little bit of height here because I do not want to actually get myself killed. So let's go ahead and try and get him to spawn in again. This might take a couple of attempts. A few minutes later. It can't be possible, what the f I've lost my lighter. It's gone. All my tools are freaking gone. Now I've got this light that I don't, even freaking mend I don't even have mending on. This is... Please, I've got a mending still left in here. I'm breaking three. I don't even have a mending left on here. I thought I had a mending book saved. 
unless it's on my ender chest. Okay, I've got a mini book there. So the way that I have to get all my stuff back is I don't even have tools at the moment. Is I have to break this furnace here. And yeah, I was so close to getting myself. I spawned a second endermite and then for some stupid reason it decided to go straight off into the void, which annoyed me. Okay, so mending. And I'm breaking three. And the way that I can mend this up is I need some phantom membrane, I think it is. I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm quite annoyed. Can I just chuck it in like this here? Um, do I have my rocket chest here? Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just try and get this farm done. Cause as soon as I get this farm done, I'll be able to at least get all my stuff. I'll at least be able to get some stuff. <sighs> yeah. See you guys once I get back to the where I'm... Well, I'll see you guys once I spawn in the Endermite. That's what I'm going to do. Not happy at all. One hour later. After about an hour... Well, actually... Gee, <laughs> after two hours of trying to get an Endermite to spawn again, I've finally got one to do it. And I've also died. Also, my... Yeah, the, the lights just didn't want to activate. And I sort of fell to my... I, came, I f jumped off there, fell down here, oh, come on, why is it activating? And then I ended up falling into the void doing something stupid. So yeah, I'm not happy at the moment. But this farm is pretty much completed now. All we have to do is add in a couple bits of carpet going around here. And I believe it is now done. Okay, people, I believe the farm is now done, and now it's... The first time we're going to test out and see if it works. I hope it works. I spent way too long trying to get this to work. Let's just fly up over here and... Oh, that looks like a good sign. Can I land down here though? This looks perfect. Let's see how many levels I can get. Oh, let's just turn down that volume. Oh, let's just keep that back there. Where's Hostile Creature? Turn that right down. And see how good this goes. Damn it. As you said, Endermite dies in it. Okay. I, I, I really don't know what to say now. I really do not know what to say. What I do have to say though is that these bits of carpet aren't supposed to freaking be here. And this whole thing's supposed to be forwards by one more, so it's supposed to be, it's actually supposed to be over here. So it's supposed to be carpet here, and this piping's supposed to be over here. It's... I'm really not happy. At least I know this thing sort of works, though. Okay, back to trying to get it to work again, I suppose. See you guys once I get it working again. Again, yes, this is going to be the third end of my life to spawn, and this is going to take such a long ass time. So I, I, I really, I'm really not happy about this. Very, very irritated. Okay, I'll see you guys once I have this completed for hopefully the final time. <laughs> See you then. Okay everyone, the fourth attempt now. I didn't even know. I was in half a heart and fell down there. The little thing pushed me off. But, yeah. This farm should have only taken about an hour to construct. It's taken me four hours now. So yeah, that, that's the end of my day and I'm hoping they're going to fall straight down there, and I'm hoping they're going to add sense them. I really hope this works. If not, I'm just, I'm just not going to be happy. Now let's see if this is going to work. Please don't kill the endermite. Please don't kill the endermite. Now it should reach a cap shortly, and then I should stop spawning in. Okay, yep. That looks good. Okay, let's see what how much XP levels we get. Okay. 
That's such a horrible noise. This is awesome. I need to get a better sword though. Because this is only a little temporary, not the best sword. I'm actually really happy at how this is like. This takes a while to kill him. I'm just watching the um, the subtitles. Ooh, that, that is that is lagging quite a bit, isn't that? Let's just let that catch up, maybe. Jeez, it's quite a good XP, isn't it? Yeah, let's get a bit of sword. Whoa, that is laggy, isn't that? Jeez, check that out. Let's see what frames of second we're on. Jeez. Let's just let that catch up. I need to, I will work, go ahead and slowly work on improving a little better area though. Like a better landing platform in that there. That, that, that is amazing. How much XP I'm getting. I'm about to improve all my stuff, I'm about to keep all my stuff nice and mended. As soon as I get a, as long as the endermite does not die, I'm happy. How close can I get without getting hurt? Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be really good. Nice to get myself a better sword, as I just stated, and yeah, that'd be pretty, pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bit more XP here. I'm gonna get about 50 XP, and we can go and see and maybe get some better equipment fixed up see you guys then my cover one now back at the base and it's time to try and get myself some better equipment so oh fortune three you got oh yeah that, that's a beautiful pick straight off the action and i want something that's got unbreaking protection three just something for a helmet anyways for now let's create ourselves another helmet and see what else we can get because i've got plenty of levels to work with now which is awesome Fire protection and breaking three. Not the, not the best out there, is it? Let's create ourselves another pack while we're at it. So yeah, those there are going to be combined together now. And yes, yeah, this is going to be sorry about this video being so long, longer than usual. But during ne next week's episode, I believe I'm going to go ahead and oh, I don't even enchant my boots, have I? Let's go see if I can enchantments on those. So what I want to do now is, well, in next week's video, I want to unbreak in protection 5. Yeah, that looks okay. So in next week's video, I am planning to start work on a lovely wither farm. It's going to be a very manual one, as I stated during a time lapse, I believe, last year, maybe. I can't remember when I actually stated doing it. But yeah, I need to work on a wither farm, because I want to get some beacons, because I'll help mine and do stuff a lot more better so yeah thanks everyone for watching today's video it has been quite a bit of a pain in the backside really but yeah i'm going to go out there between now and next video and start collecting resources for our next project and yeah i'm also going to go out and try and get myself another elytra as well and get some more supplies to yeah keep up with demand because i need to at least have a couple of elytras on hand in case i die somewhere to fly out and go get it so yeah, to end off this today's episode, I think I'm going to end it off with a very, very quick time lapse of me taking down, let's make it 32 diamond ore. Let's do that there very quickly, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Be my new thing